Hi there, Chris from Moto Legends, the chap in the cap, here today to talk to you about a very famous rucker glove called the Apollo. It's been in their range forever. This is the glove. It's an all leather summer waterproof glove. So, for high summer, when the temperatures are up in the 30s, you do not want a glove that's got a membrane. So this is the kind of glove that you might wear any time from, say, the beginning of April through to the end of October. There's no thermal properties within this glove, but the warmth comes from the fact that you have a waterproof and therefore windproof membrane that will protect your hands from the effects of wind chill. In this particular glove, the membrane is a laminated membrane. You can always tell a Gore-Tex laminated membrane because running around a band on the inside of the glove is um, a legend that says Gore Grip. So Gore Grip is Gore-Tex's word for a laminated. Just to tell people who, or explain to people who don't know what laminated is, laminated is when you take the membrane, you bond it, you heat seal it to the inside surface of the outer fabric. What that means is that in heavy rain, water cannot soak into the material. Um, when you have the alternative method, which is known as drop liner, where you've got the outer surface and a loose hanging uh, waterproof membrane, water can get into the outer surface and sit there. Might not reach the hand, but what that means is that when you're riding along, there can be a lot of water between the outside surface and the membrane that can make you feel cold. So in principle, this is a glove that will not let water in at all. It would never have reached your hand anyway with any kind of Gore-Tex membrane, but it will not be allowed to enter into the glove because of that bonded membrane. What mitigates a little bit against that is that this glove is all leather. Now, when one is talking about the most waterproof form of, uh, of a construction, one doesn't want a lot of leather involved because leather is hydrophilic. Imagine a chamois leather that you clean the car with. When you wet it, it soaks all that water in very easily. So in our view, the most waterproof gloves are not leather. But I suppose, therefore, this, gl this glove is for someone who just prefers riding in leather. They only trust leather, but they still want some waterproofing. So if that's what you want, if you prefer leather because you just have more confidence in it, you think it's safer, um, but you want a degree of waterproofing, then this may be the glove for you. It is, I suppose, a direct competitor to the company's own Virium glove. The spec between this and the Virium is very similar. Um, I would say that the Virium, because it has a textile outer and a faux leather palm, is probably more waterproof, but some people just prefer to ride in leather. Let's go through some of the features on this glove. Um, you have Velcro on the cuff, Velcro on the wrist. You have an articulation panel here, and this is also a uh, separate back. What that means is that when you tighten on the grips, this glove kind of moves. If a glove, if a glove with a longer cuff doesn't have this, it can become uncomfortable on the grips. But as you can see here, as I, as I move my fingers, that stretches, that moves up. It makes it very comfortable on the bike. You have hard protectors here on the main knuckles. You have soft protectors on the minor knuckles. Reflective material here on the fingers and across the wrist here, and a rubber protector on the forefinger. If we turn the glove over, extra panels of leather here between the forefinger and the thumb. Uh, that's a fantastic thing to have because often again, when you go down, you can catch your thumb. An extra piece of leather there just makes it a little bit more rigid. There's also obviously, of course, an extra panel of leather all the way across the palm. A carbon or carbon look scaphoid protector. Scaphoid is important, again, for the same reason. When you go down, and often when you go down, if you have the opportunity, we put our hands out first, the, the scaphoid bone catches that first, so a protector or a slider can be very useful. Glove does not have touchscreen sensitive fingers, um, so I suppose you would say this is not a touring glove per se. Of course, you could tour in it, but uh, it's not going to be any good with your phone or with a sat nav. Um, it is a not inexpensive glove. One doesn't expect rucker gloves to be inexpensive. They are always at the upper end of the market. Um, but whereas the Virium is priced at a $159.99, this is a $199.99. So you're paying, um, 
you're paying a premium for the privilege of having an all leather glove. Um, comes in sizes from seven right the way up to 13. Fantastic glove, it just feels beautiful. Rucker have a way of putting these thing, things together. They just feel beautifully made. They use the best materials, has a two year warranty. Um, so if most of your riding is done, or if you're looking for a glove that's going to work for you from April through until um, the end of the, the autumn, then this is a fantastic glove. With heated grips, I suppose it might last a wee, a wee bit longer, um, but don't get confused. This isn't a glove that you're gonna be able to wear all year round. Anyway, that's the Rucker Apollo glove. Um, it's a lovely bit of kit, and if you're someone who likes leather, this is maybe a glove that you could consider. If you'd like more details, visit our website, www.motolegends.com. If you'd like to subscribe to our email bulletins, we send bulletins out whenever a new product comes into the building, um, and that's most days of the week. We'll have some, something new. Whenever we receive something, we do a little a bulletin about it. Um, so if you want information on new products, then you can subscribe to our bulletins. If you go onto the front page of the website, we have lots of little square boxes. We call them tiles. One of those is a, uh, an email subscriber box. So um, if you'd like to receive that information, go to the website. If you would like to receive your information in a videographic form, then please subscribe on the button below. Would love to have you following us and watching our videos. Anyway, this has been Chris. This is the Apollo Glove. We hope to talk again soon.